So let's go. Gildam, Gilliam Barre is an acute infection, neuronitis of the cranial and peripheral nerve. Oh, Miss Sonia, what does that mean? Look, this is the neuron. The neuron is covered with a sheet. Yes. We are in Gilliam Barre, we are on page 828. Okay? Neuro. So, Gil this is the neurons. The neurons have a sheet on it. And the sheet is called myelin sheet. Right? Dra, ikuvui. But it's on vert. You know the marié? <laughs> right? Now, so Gilliam Barre, the myelin sheet is being demyelinized. And where does the garbage go? Into the blood. The blood becomes infectious. Right? Now, this patient got two problems. Muscle weakness and kidney problem. Now, where's the muscle weakness, Miss Sonia? From feet to chest. From feet to chest. So early sign, the patient got problem with walking. Late sign, the patient had problem breathing. Now. Be, the reason the patient had kidney problem because all the garbage goes into the blood. So I'm going to give this patient medication for muscle <laughs> weakness like baclofen, right, propanolol, right, medication to help with balance. Plus, I'm going to do dialysis. For this patient, A, not because he got kidney problem. It's because all the garbage goes into the blood. So I can do dialysis. I can do plasmapheresis, right? I can give this patient allopurinol because all the garbage that goes into the blood is called uric acid. Now, Inclex asks you, early sign, Miss Sonia says, ready? Parasthesis, weakness, gradual weakness of the upper extremities, possible progression of respiratory failure, cardiac dysrhythmia, right? Now, this is med search. Doctor, you say, I have this. I don't know what that means, but you say I have this. What proof? I need proof. Okay, Sonia, here's the proof. I'm going to do a lumbar puncture. So when I do a lumbar puncture, I'm going to find protein. I need proof. More proof. Lumbar puncture is one proof. Give me a machine test. E. E G. There you go. So, Miss Sonia, tell you what is Gilliam Barre? What is the sign and symptoms of Gilliam Barre? With medication, yes, they're gonna give antibiotics. I'm gonna tell you why. You know why? Because Miss Sonia said garbage in the what? Blood caused the patient to have a fever. They will have a fever. I'm going to give you allopurinol to remove garbage from the Uric acid. blood. Blood. Uric acid. I'm going to give you baclofen because of the what? Muscle. Muscle. Any question with Gilliam Barre? Which tool the patient need to use to walk? I'm 30. I have Gillian Barre. I'm 30. The crime has to meet the punishment. How many grams? How many 
elderly. No, you don't give elderly people crutches. You give young people crutches. How many elderly people you find, elderly people, women, you find with a cane? Very little. You find a lot of men with cane, young people with crutches. All women, all white women, you find them with walker. The crime has to meet the punishment. If they cannot walk, you can put them in a wheelchair. But guys, remember, especially young people, you don't give them no doggone walker. You give them crutches. Old people, you try to teach a 78-year-old how to walk with crutches. Okay. Ugh. Fall. Yes. Very slowly. You will die, but it's slow death. You can live about 40, 45 a lot of years because okay. when do you notice you have this yeah. in your late teens 20 19 8, 20 and then you go to a good 40 you now with all the medication you go with late 40s but there's a lot of problem with you I had one patient, a black guy. Oh my God, he was so mean. They angry. They angry with the world. Very nasty people. Their skin is very patchy. You know why? All the garbage. Right when I look at him, he got more problems than this disease. Mental, he's wasting away. <coughs> Any question with Gilliam Barre? So you go to NCLEX. Where did Miss Sonia teach you Gillian Barre? Med surge? Neuro. Test taking strategies? You will put med surge? Neuro. Any question? Okay, now we going into, yes. No, no, from feet, yes, to chest. So if I put early sign, problem a pied. Late sign, problem avec. Good job. I will never ask you nothing to do with diet here. You know why? Because there's no what? There's no facial. Baby, by the time he get here, he dead. It don't even go up here. Now, he can have muck facial twitching, but this is la rivela. It don't even make it here. It got to go through here before it go up here. Okay? Any question? Yes. I could we remember that as ground to brain? Yes, you can say ground to brain. It's true. Ground to brain. I'm a um, copyright that. <laughs> <laughs> ground to brain. That's true. Pied, ground to brain. Who don't get it? I got it. You don't get it? Look, ground to brain. Muscle weakness starting from the feet to the head. So ground extremities to brain. GB. All right. Any question? Bell palsy. Bell palsy. Facial paralyze. Facial weakness. Class. Ugen doule nafigi. Right. Et pour gagner les doutes, les filles qui a qui ça fait, y a pas même. Nous gagnons tous les noms qui et puis bon filles qui a fait, c'est pas même. English, you got muscle weakness, facial weakness, and facial pain. Bell palsy is facial weakness. Bell palsy is not a stroke. Well, you know what people call it, stroke for young people. Yes. I don't know if you guys know Max. Max, Max, Max had this. A lot of young students had it. You see, they come to class, and you see, it's because I'm stress. This is viral. It's not a stroke. It's just that his side of under stress, <coughs> under stress, his whole face can turn into the back of his head, right? And you have to do continual physical therapy, facial therapy, to get the face back. 
it is viral, so we're going to use eye drop called Zovarax. Where did I teach you Zovarax? STD. Hey, this is not STD. The reason Zovarax, Aciclovir, those are antiviral. That don't mean this patient got no AIDS. Miss Sonia ain't never said that. It's the drug. You see AIDS patient? AIDS patient take this. It has nothing to do with this patient got AIDS. That's all on here. It's the medication is viral, right? It's an antiviral. So we said Zovarax, right? And Aciclovir. I did not say the patient have AIDS. You do, you give it to them eye drops. Eye drops. Now, this patient has muscle weakness in the face. Listen, if my muscle weakness is here, where would you put the food? Okay. Right here. Right? Now watch class. Watch. If the stroke is here, here, here. Where's the weakness? The other side. Where would I put the food in a stroke patient? Right side. Stroke side. Bell palsy. Where's the weakness? Here's the weakness. Where are you going to put the food? The other side. Turn it. Stroke. Here. Where's the weakness? Put the food in my mouth. That's right. Students get them confused. Bell palsy, wherever the weakness, wherever the weakness is, you gonna put the food where? Okay. I got bell palsy. Bell palsy. Can CNA come feed me? No. Pour que problème vous soyez une photo CNN vite vite. CNN est 4523. She's in 4523. CNN cannot feed me. Who will feed me? Nurse, because there is an assess. Yes. Ma bawi suchez bien et nous fait stroke. I'm a brain of students. I'm going to take people how to remove them. Where to put the chair? It's my family. I'm going to tomorrow. We'll be too strong. Okay? Let's continue. Now, flaccid facial muscle, inability to raise the eyebrow, upward movement of the eye, loss of taste. So you pay more to, guy, passing up again, boom, no bush. So, what quality do you want to do? Manjik high in what? Sugar. Listen, the patient lost the taste of their mouth. How can you give me some nasty food? You need to give me something high in what? High in season or high in sugar so the taste can come back. That's an inflex question. And that's on one of my mama and papa. You need to know which food you will give them. And you see where I get you? On the test, I ask you which diet you give this patient. You think I'm asking a question with swallowing. I'm asking you something about the loss of what? Yes. So really, I can ask you a question about the what? The chewing, the swallowing, and I can ask you a question with loss of what? Because the patient got two problems. Right? Let's continue. Intervention. Encourage the client to do facial exercise, which is called what? Physical. Yeah. Right? Protect the eyes from dryness by putting what? Eye, eye drop. And what does the eye drop call? Zoporex and what? Right? Promote frequent oral care. Why would you keep wash my mouth? Because of the medication. 
Why? Because no taste. Why would you? Well, let me buy a bun of monkey fair cancer. Bush up again, boo. You constantly wash their mouth to give the mouth some kind of what? So they're able to do what? Eat. Okay? Any question? Yes, ma'am. Girl, eh, eh, maybe the, um, I'm going to tell you because my mom had this when she was 38. And still today, let me tell her. So again, I went to the school. No, she didn't. She had this. You normally have it young. It doesn't go away, but it's manageable if you went to physical therapy. My mom, they took the drops, and she never did the exercise movements. So now she has dentures, and the person who made the dentures had to make the dentures to match her, her facial change. All you got to keep doing physical therapy, and you got good days, bad days. Move yourself, be what you want to do. So you got to deal with your stress. And you know, viral, there's no cure. But it's manageable. This has nothing to do with AIDS, please. Yes, maybe. We cool? All right. Then we go into trigeminal neuralgia. You see it? Trigeminal neuralgia. Now this is called facial pain. Facial pain. Ça c'est douleur. Facial pain. The other one was facial weakness. This is how I get you on my test. You don't remember facial pain versus facial weakness. This is pain. Pain, but morphine, Demerol, Tylenol cannot do nothing for you. The only, the only facial, the only medication that can help you is seizure medication. Mommy, you need no. I know you come to just take it. You just got to find a seat, baby. That's my Miami. They come to test taking strategies. Okay? West American Vinchita. I say, what's up? You have to live one good day, or? <laughs> Ay. She didn't come in. Mom said, Who want to live with me? Yeah, you see? Why you come kiss Susan? That your friend to me, you brought her here? I'm going to give you a discount. Psych. <laughs> okay, let's go. Trigeminal neuralgia is facial pain. Guys, this pain hurts so bad. They hurt so bad, no pain medication will help you. Morphine, Demerol, Tylenol, oh yeah. The only thing that's going to save you is seizure med. The seizure med. Miss Sonia, I did seizure meds already. Ready? Tagatol. Noratin, Dilantin, right? Baclofen is not a seizure med. I'm going to kill you. <laughs> Muscle relaxer. Now, ready? Valprovic acid. Miss Sonia, what all seizure meds cause? Bleeding, Bleeding and what? Low, 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 low WBC. So we're going to isolate this patient, not because of this disease, but because of what? See, uh, yes, risk for infection due to seizure medication. Now, this patient had facial pain. Sometimes the, the pain is so bad that these medications don't work. They have to do a procedure called rhizotomy. They remove, they go in and remove the root, the nerve. And then you see the patient pain relief. So there's there's a couple procedures they do. Ready? Number three, resection of the root. We're gonna let you the root canal. Those root nerve they to relieve the pain. This patient problem has to do with pain. 
Bell palsy has to do with facial weakness. Now, let's talk. Nursing, what would I see this patient have? The patient will have pain on the lips, the gums, the nose, and the cheeks. The lips, the gums, the nose, and the cheeks. This patient, when they wash their face with cold water, pain. Chewing, pain. So you're going to teach them to avoid really hot food, really cold food. You're going to tell them to eat small, feeding, liquid, and soft food. Instruct the client to chew on the what? Unaffected. Administer medication and also the surgical um, interventions that they do. And the number one procedure that they do is number three. Any question? Another name for this, tic dolore. They say that in the French people, you know I don't speak French. Hell, I don't even speak Creole that correctly. So tic dolore, that's how black people say it. Tic dolore. So Delia, how you say it in French? Uh, how you say tic dolore in French? You see? Chick de la I don't know how to speak My uncle said, Bon, va va les France, on va va les créoles. So I'm bay mon yo la, I'm di yo passe. Right? Any question with trigeminal neuralgia? So you go to Inclex. Trigeminal neuralgia, you're going to say med surge, neuro. Bell palsy, med surge, neuro. Gilliam Barre, med surge, neuro. West Nile virus, med surge, Meningitis, med surge, Any question? How can you not pass? Do you feel the license? Yes. All right. Yes, maybe. Okay, any question? Right there, no reason why you shouldn't pop up, pop your lipping cock, and do neuro question and should not get nothing but 80. You should 70. And I'm telling you, when you read and you do questions, guys, you can feel the license. Okay. Mm. Then we go to Parkinson disease. We are on page 827. Parkinson disease, 827, right? In our brains, we have neurotransmitters. We call them chemical. When they say the patient has chemical imbalance, which when you incite, we'll talk about schizophrenia. So when you have um, Parkinson, your dopamine, which is chemical, there's three chemicals in the brain. We call them neurotransmitters, right? It's glutamate, right? What else? Dopamine, right? We have serotonin, right? They also have more. Nepinephrine, yes. When you have dope, uh, when you have Parkinson, the dopamine is low. low. So this patient has problem with what? Walking, have problem with balance. This patient cannot write their name big. You see they write their names real small. This patient do pin rolling. This patient, right, walking like this is not the issue. See, you don't want Parkinson patient to walk because they're going to fall on their face. So you want Parkinson patient to walk like a penguin, <laughs> shuffle. So Parkinson patient, you will remove the rug. Because if I'm shuffling and I have Parkinson and I have rug shuffle, 
not fall, I'm going to cause a fire. Friction causes a fire. Right? We learned that in fundamental hygiene and safety. Anytime you are doing this on carpet, a fire can happen. And Parkinson patients, they shuffle. So for me to shuffle, shuffle, you're going to have to change my shoes. You're going to give me, you, you guys test dance, the tap shoes, or you're going to put a sock on me. Socks. Because if I have on socks, I can, I can slide. And that's what you want Parkinson's patient to do. But still, the way they get up on the chair, so Tom rock back and forth. You see? Parkinson patient, this Tom, he got Parkinson. For Tom, Tom cannot get up like this. Before Tom get up, Tom got to rock back and forth ten times. Mm -hmm. He said, hold on, I'm coming, I'm coming. And then, boop, Tom get up. You see how they get up? Mm -hmm. They got problem with getting out of the chair. And they got problem with walking. And he questioned. So Parkinson patient... You need to give them socks, right, or tap shoes. You will remove the carpet. Now, Parkinson patient, where safety is the issue is, the safety is the issue in two parts. The disease, because they got problem with balance, so they can fall. That's one safety. The other safety is from the medication. The medication, copper dopa, lever dopa, cause him to hallucinate. So at night, Tom should be sleeping. You find him all the way on jog road, because the medication, the medication make them loop, 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 loop. The medication cause them to constipate. So you want to make sure you give Tom a lot of water. Levodopa, cardopa, make every fluid of Tom turn orange. So you need to teach him about that. You got it? Now, Parkinson patients have what we call bradykinesia. They all have movement issues. Okay? Now, you got to make sure they're drinking a lot of water. You need to check their input and output. And you got to watch. Listen, you got to make sure they drink boost because they got chewing problems. And all the food that they eating is not enough nutrient. So every time you give him a meal, a meal, you will give him boost or insure. LPN, anytime a patient has eating problem and the doctor order boost, you don't give the food and then the boost. You guys know that. You're supposed to give the food and the boost together. So you bring the drink and you bring a cup and you take the cup, put over the boost, and you bring the tray. Why? We know she got Parkinson's. She got chewing problems. She's not going to eat all her food. So let's say she ate 40% of her food. But she drank 50% of the boots. If you put that together, that's 90%. That's why you give food and insure together. Right, LPN? Yes. Oh, you do it, but you didn't know why you do it. Right? You always give, because you count the boots as a meal. Do you know the insure is considered a meal? Like when you on diet and you drink Slim Fast, a can of Slim Fast, lunchtime, we consider that a what? Your meal. Your meal. Your meal. Any question? We cool? So, Parkinson, you know what is the disease? It is slow progressive. Guys, any time we have a slow progressive debilitating, more vacancy. That means the patient going to eventually die when we don't know. Okay? Make sure you know that. Anytime NCLEX gives you some kind of cancer, leukemia, Hodgkin, 
breast cancer, I guarantee you they ask you a DNR question. So you got to have your scruples ready. Anytime you have a disease, taste sacs, um, ALS, that the patient will die, guarantee what they want to know DNA. about DNR. Let's get the patient is going to what? Yeah. Any question? Now, did Miss Sonia say Parkinson? The patient need to get a, 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 a DNR. No, no, because Parkinson is very, matter of fact, Parkinson, let me tell you what you die from. When you have Parkinson, remember it's manageable. So you have it for years and years and years and years. Then for some reason, you stop walking. You sit in the wheelchair. What can keep you alive in that wheelchair? Pneumonia and ulcers. That's what you die from. That's what Alzheimer's patients die from. Not the Alzheimer's disease. AIDS, you don't die of AIDS. You die of complication of AIDS, cancer, breast cancer. You don't die from breast cancer. When you have breast cancer, the first thing that goes is your respiration. That's what you die from. So you guys get it. So you got to know when they say these disease, you got to know what is it that the patient will eventually die from. That's why anytime you come here, go there, I find a lump. Breast, the first thing he's going to order, chest x-ray. He want to know if it spreads, the size. Any question? We cool? All right. We going to stop here. Tomorrow, you remember we still on neuro. Tomorrow, we going to get it. Mastinius gravis. Now, you remember, neuro is what I'm doing in the morning. In the morning. Look on top. Neuro gonna be first. 915. You know we talk. 930. And then fundamental delegation. 